So St. George was martyred 1,800 years ago. And his death is likened to many of the early martyrs of the church. He was martyred uh, by the emperor Diocletian in the year 307. But in the 1,800 years that have followed since his death, a great legend and a, an insightful legend rose up around St. George. He is, St. George is the saint that you've probably seen in holy cards. He's mounted on a big white horse and there's a dragon underneath him and he's spearing the dragon with his great spear. He killed the dragon. The legend has that the townspeople were terrorized by the dragon because it had a voracious appetite. The dragon would breathe fire and it would feed upon the animals of all the townspeople. And every day the, the dragon insisted that the townspeople give him two of their livestock. But when the livestock ran out, the dr dragon demanded that he eat their children. That's the legend. Well, I would purport that today, in our own day, that there are many dragons around us that prey on the human spirit, and particularly upon young people, young children who are very much influenced. An example would just be um, a rampant consumerism or maybe um, hedonistic pleasures or maybe the, the real lure of self-importance. I think that these are dragons in our modern day. And that these things have voracious appetites. And in some instances, these things have global dimensions. And again, I think that these things really do prey on our young people dragons for the sake of pleasure, for the sake of importance, for the sake of having? Well, the legend goes that finally, because of the fear and the terror of the people, the king's daughter offered herself to the dragon if she would stop eating, the, if the dragon would stop eating the, pe the kids. But St. George came to the rescue killed the dragon before it could harm her. And he married the princess. And together, they cooked the dragon for their wedding feast and served it to their guests. You know, I think that that's a great story. People love the medieval story about St. George because in a nutshell, it really is the story of Easter. St. George represents Christ. And whenever we are willing to lay down our lives for another, as the princess did, death itself dies, just like the dragon. I don't think it's a fable. I think that there are some very real dragons out there in our 21st century, and that the church and we have to address them. 